Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a dark themed statistics app. This app is going to be tracking our exercise. Today we're making a screen for weight training and we're going to show that in a pretty unique way and we're going to have some other stats listed there. So the goal with this tutorial is to show you guys some different ways you can show statistics in apps. So we're going to be making multiple screens of this and there will be multiple parts to this video. So this is part one. We're going to be designing one screen today and laying out the rest of the app style. So I hope you guys are excited. Project file is in the description. Go ahead and download that and let's start in Adobe XD. So here's what the project file is going to look like. I'm going to select my artboard and start by selecting the darkest black, which is this one here. This is our medium black and then this our light blackish gray. So once we've done that, we can create a rectangle and this rectangle is going to be for our overall navigation. I'm going to set the height on this to 220 and then remove the border and set it to our medium black. Then down here in the symbols panel, I'm going to drag out the default white status bar for iPhone. I'm going to center that and then align it to the top. We're going to be creating this artboard as an exercise artboard. So I'm going to type that out. And this is going to be for weight training. I'm going to select my artboard and select the grid layout. I'm going to use a two column grid. I'm going to remove the padding on this and then I'm going to set the width on these to 20 and then I'm going to adjust this to 335 for the width. Then we can drag out our navigation icon. This icon is going to be touching this left side right here and it's going to be 56 from the overall top of the artboard. Next, I'm going to type out some font. This is going to say exercise and we're going to set that to Proxima Nova regular 40 white font. I'm going to put the 16 pixels below our navigation. And then I'm going to grab my line tool and drag out a line all the way from one edge to the other on my artboard holding shift. And I'm going to set this to the darkest color black. This is then going to go 20 pixels below our exercise text. Here we have two categories. So we need to set our calendar and that's going to be on today. So let's drag that out. Position that 20 from this line. And then we can type out today. Set that to Proxima Nova 16 white font. And then I'm going to put eight spacing in between that and that icon. And then we can drag out our filter icon. We're going to put this 50 pixels from the edge of today. Holding Alt, I'm just going to drag over and put that eight pixels between that. And this is going to say weight training. So the idea here is we're on the exercise page. We have our calendar set to today, and then we've selected a filter of weight training. So that is what we are currently viewing down here. I'm then going to grab the rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle from one margin to the other. So we have 20 spacing on each side of this. I'm going to set the height on this to 344. This is going to house our first chart. So I'm going to drag it up to the bottom of this section and then go down 20 pixels. So holding shift and the down arrow key to get on 20. On the corners of this, I'm going to round this to 10. I'm going to set this to our medium colored black, which is going to match our header up here. I'm going to add a shadow on this and then I'm just going to adjust the blur to 15. And then we can change the color to 455B63. That's a bluish gray. I'll set that to my swatches and that's going to be at 16% opacity. Then we can remove the border and we're left with this little glow. I'm actually going to drag that down halfway. So let's go with eight. I'm going to hold alt and drag down to create a duplicate of this and then put 20 spacing in between those two cards. And then I'm going to drag this up. So it hits the bottom here. Then I'm going to hit command C, command V to copy it. And then I'm going to hold shift and go up on my arrow key 20. Then I'm going to select the one underneath and drag that to that new positioning on that one and then delete it. That's a little trick I like to do to get spacing on the bottom of the artboard very easily. So now we have 20 spacing between each of the cards and the bottom of the artboard. I'm going to select my artboard and turn off my layout grid. We no longer need that for now. And let's first work on this card right here. So we're going to be making a hexagon because we're going to be doing a radar chart here in the center. 
and I've found out that these are extremely difficult to make in Adobe XD from scratch, but we're going to do it. So what I've done is I've selected this. I've went to my layers panel and just hit the lock button so we can't move this at all. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to create a square and let's make this, let's go 60 by 60. And then we'll center it up here. And then let's remove the border on that. Let's unselect that and let's grab our pen tool. And from the center, I'm going to go down to this corner, click, hold shift, go to this corner, click, and then drag up to here. Then we can delete the square in the background. And let's see the dimensions on this. Let's make this 60 by 60. I'm going to remove the border and apply that as a fill. So a hexagon is made up of six triangles. So I'm going to rotate this one to its side like that. Hold Alt, drag over to create a duplicate. Rotate this one until it touches. Then I'm going to hold Shift, select both. Hold Alt, go up to the top. So we have a shape like this. Then I'm going to grab this one, hold Alt, and duplicate it. Rotate it in, and you guys get the idea. I'm just going to put that into this white space right there. And then we'll do that with this one. And put that in there. Now Adobe XD is a little weird with pixels sometimes, so if we merge this into a shape like that and then apply a border, we're going to get all kinds of these weird lines. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group this by hitting Command G, and then I'm going to drag out a rectangle. And I'm going to do this from this point to this point. And we'll try to make this as exact as we can. And I'm going to double click on this and just make a point here and then drag that up to the top make a point at the bottom and drag that down to the bottom it's going to zoom in and make sure that is as perfect as we can get it do the same thing here to the bottom and so there we have our hexagon so we can delete this mess that we just created and then let's put this in the center and then we'll make sure that's aligned right there. And then let's scale this up to 215. And make sure it's centered again. And then we can remove the fill. I'm going to right click this gray swatch and apply as border. Command C, Command V. Scale down. So now we're making the radar chart. We'll scale to about there. Command C, Command V. And we'll make a small one here in the center. I'm actually going to make all this a little bit bigger. So we'll scale that up to around there. So now with our line tool, we're just going to drag from this corner to this bottom corner. This corner to this bottom corner. And then I'm going to hold shift and drag a straight line all the way through. So then I need to zoom in and make sure these are all correctly in the right corner. So let's position that one there. And then the top's overhanging a bit. So we'll just drag that down. So I'm going to select all of those. Right click on our gray swatch. Apply as border. So that is our chart right there. So I'm going to select all of those and command G to group them. So if you've never worked with a radar chart, each one of these corners is a representation of a value. So I'm going to type out chest up here at the top. I'm going to set that to 12 size font, Proxima Nova white. I'm going to center align this. I'm going to put this two pixels from the top of that point. Hold Alt, copy that down to the bottom. And this one's going to be back. Duplicate that. And then we'll just kind of go down from there and then over two pixels. I'm going to align this to the right. This one is going to be triceps. Hold Alt and Shift. Put that there. This one's going to be biceps. Hold Alt and then Shift. One, two. And this one's going to be aligned to the left. And we'll do shoulders. I was worried about that hanging off. We'll adjust that in a second. And then I'm going to hold Alt and make sure that aligns with triceps. And this one's going to be legs. So since we're doing a weight training tab, this is going to be each one of our muscle groups that we're going to be working. And so we're going to tell which ones 
were working out the most with this chart. So since shoulders is hanging over, let's make this just a bit smaller. And then we'll drag shoulders in and then over two. I'm just going to visually align them. I think that looks pretty good. So now let's add our data. So to do that, I'm going to grab the pen tool. And we're just going to create a shape that displays what we've worked out. So we'll go triceps a little bit harder. Back, we're going to hit pretty good. And then legs, we're going to skip out on leg day. So we'll go to about there. And then we're hitting shoulders pretty decent. And we're going to connect that to the chest. And you'll see I have this blue color right here. This is this blue color just lighter opacity, it's at 65%. I'm going to set that to the fill. And then for the border, I'm going to right click on the blue swatch and apply as border. Then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to double click on our new shape. And I'm going to make sure all of our points touch this line so that the design doesn't look weird like this, so we'll drag that to that line. This point is a little off. And then that one's pretty good. Okay, so now we can show the target. So what we want to actually do. And we'll do chest a little bit less. And then shoulders a little bit more. And then we'll connect that to the chest. So based on what the user has inputted they want to do, this is going to be their projected data they want to hit. So I've set this to this gray color right here. This is at 65% opacity, I believe. Yep. And then I'm going to right click, apply as border on that. And we can turn the fill on. And here's what we have. So now we can zoom in and we can make sure all of our points touch the lines. And once we've done that, we can select it and hit command left square bracket key to send it behind our blue value. So this is our radar chart. Down here at the bottom, we're going to need a key for this. So let's just grab a square, hold shift to make that a perfect square. We'll grab our blue color and let's put a round on this to so like three. So we have something like that. And then let's go over from the side 20 and up from the bottom 20 as well. Then I'm gonna grab this triceps text and then apply a 16 to that. Center that with our square, go over eight. I'm not liking how big this is, so let's actually cut this size in half and go nine by nine. Then on our round, we'll go down to one. We'll change this to progress. And I actually need to align that to the left, and then we can reposition that 8 from our square. And then I'm going to copy both of them and put 50 spacing in between. We did that up here, so we want to keep uh, that consistent. So I'm going to grab this square and set it to our gray-black. And this is going to be our goal. So now that we have that, let's reposition this up a little bit so we have some space in between our key and our actual radar chart. And so that's what we have so far. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm actually gonna drop these down a bit. So next down here at the bottom, we're just gonna have a little bit more information about our weight training. And the user can scroll down. If you guys wanna make some more information down here, I challenge you guys to do that on your own and see what you guys can come up with for weight training statistics. So I'm just going to copy this text and I'm going to put this 20 from the side of this card and then 27 from the top and we'll put average lifting session. So this is going to be the time that we lift. I'm going to hold alt and drag that over and go 20 from that side, align this to the right and we'll say we lift on average two hours. We want a way to symbolize if this is good, bad, or the same. So if it's the same, we're going to leave it like this. If we've lifted more than we did yesterday, or if we have like the last seven days here, 
We're going to be looking at the seven days before that. Uh, so we're going to need a way to compare those. So if we lifted more, so today we did two hours. Yesterday we did like an hour and 30 minutes. We're going to have an up arrow to symbolize that we did more than yesterday. So that's some progress. And then we're going to change that to blue for a nice positive arrow up. And then it would be vice versa if this was down from what we usually train, it would be upside down and red. So I'm going to grab a line and I'm just going to go all the way over. And I need to subtract 40 from that so we have 20 on each side. That's going to leave us with 295, I believe. If my math's not incorrect. Let's see here. Drag that over to the center. That works. So we'll go 20 from the bottom of that. And then we'll set that to black. Then we can just hold shift and select all these, hold alt, go 20 down from that. And so this is our next line. So here we're going to look at our training time itself. Training time. So this is our active time. And we'll say that's 65% of our workout. And then we'll just grab all of this, hold Alt, drag that down 20. And this is going to be our recovery time or our rest time. And that would be 35%. So here, obviously, if our training time has increased since yesterday, that would decrease our recovery time. So I'm just going to delete that one, drag in our down arrow, line that up, and then we'll set that to our red color. With that, I believe we are done with our first screen of this app. So I have a lot of other screens planned for this. If you guys want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to continue this app design. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more ER-related content. And as always, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.